Hey, Phantoms fans, this is the next edition of the Ghostly Take. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric. Hope you're all having a good day after that really tough loss, 5 nothing at home at the PPL Center against the Bellevue Senators, or Belleville Senators, excuse me, last evening. Uh, the Belleville Senators are 18-18 and Oh, now after updating from that with a .500 exactly win percentage, there are Phantoms who were just recently at a .500 winning percentage are now at a .475 behind Wilkesburg, who they have to catch to get to a .513 and a .561 of the Charlotte Checkers. Now, it's still really close if we do it by points, um, as well as I gave you the point percentage, but for people that understand it more from points, uh, 46 Checkers, 41 Wilkesbury, 38 Lehigh Valley. Um, so that puts it in perspective how close it still is too. But the Phantoms, they were playing uh, a lot better since December. And then of late, in the last few games, they won in Providence but lost in Bridgeport. That was a sloppy game, 4-1. to one. Uh, Lost 4 to nothing to Hartford, who they actually played pretty well. Now, Hartford obviously is the first-place team, but the Phantoms have played a much closer game. Um, or, excuse me, lost 6-4 to four in Hartford, not 4 to nothing. Uh, the Phantoms have usually played a much closer game um, to the Hartford Wolfpack, where it wasn't you got these two third period goals, and uh, from two of the guys that probably should, well Isaac Ratcliffe has been up with the team, but Wiley who should be called up soon, and obviously that's going to affect the Phantoms for the Phantoms and the negative and the Flyers and the positive because if he keeps playing like this, I don't see why or how the Flyers, especially desperately needing a right-handed shot defenseman. Wouldn't call him up, but uh, you lost six to four again. Not four to nothing. I apologize for that. Um, six to four um, to Hartford, where it was they didn't play the best game through two, and then got two in the third. Uh, Bridgeport didn't play a good game at all. Providence played a very good game. That looked like the great Phantoms team um, that we saw in January and saw in December, where they were battling back and becoming a very solid team, and at least a middle of the road team in this league that can compete for the playoffs this year. And then since February started, it hasn't been as squeaky clean. The Phantoms have to figure it out in the month of February. They lost three of their four games they played this far. Played Providence, who's a very good team, really well. Belleville, to me, they're a good team, obviously, at the 500 mark. They're a very solid team with good good young players, excuse me, on their team that are going to grow to become probably Senators in the next year or two or even some get the, the cup of coffee before the end of this year. But they're not a team that you should let route you in your house five to nothing. They're pretty even with the Phantoms in terms of how each clubs have played this year. Obviously, the Phantoms started very poorly and then recovered. But in terms of how they're both at now and where they are now, I'm making that point. They're very even these two teams, where it didn't look like it on the ice yesterday, and that, that, that's really my takeaway um, from the Phantoms game. You have to bounce back against the Hershey Bears, Wilkesbury Scranton, and then Hershey again. Uh, which is at 2.05 um, on Sunday, uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, they're going to be playing the Hershey Bears. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Uh, the Phantoms, I do think they're going to be able to figure it out again because they already have before, but I'm just trying to put it in perspective. They haven't been good in February. They figured it out starting in December after not having the best start, obviously, in the first <coughs> couple months there uh, going into the November and the first, like, bit of December, and then they started kicking in on, all, not all cylinders, but on most cylinders, I would say, and were able to find ways to win game and do really well and play really solid to get back in the playoffs and actually be in a playoff spot, where now it's a little bit struggle bunny again in the start of February. Hopefully our Phantoms can get back to the basics and get back to winning hockey. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to help us get 200 by the end of February.